Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Just a quick disclaimer that this video is pre-recorded, so some information mentioned might now be out of date. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like, share and subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Bye. everyone welcome back to the quoting podcast i hope you're all doing well welcome to the new subscribers welcome back to the existing subscribers please like comment and please subscribe if you're new here for the first time and smash that notification bell and yes let's get into this video so i want to talk today about my confusion with my people especially my fellow sisters within the black community I just fail to understand how we complain, myself I've complained as well about you know our ethnic image, how black women were overly sexualized, I talk about issues of colorism, you know uh, how we're not taken seriously, how we have the stereotype of the angry black woman etc etc. But at the same time I don't understand why there's people within the community that perpetuate those same stereotypes that we complain about and as Kevin Samuels said you know that the ethnic image of black women is not is is preposterous it, it's it's absolutely awful and it's not just in America it's here in the UK um, as well uh, and I felt I generally felt to understand you know we we champion things in a community that don't make sense. We now have Lizzo, who I've already talked about, you know, this whole um, body positivity nonsense that she does. And yes, I said nonsense because it is. And now she's done a TED Talks talking about twerking. TED... <sighs> TED Talks. I'm really upset about this. I'm extremely upset. Because I went to TEDx, I think two years ago, I went there to see intellectual people from the continent doing amazing things. You know, I went to see people, you know, with substance, educated people talking, you know, inspirational stuff, um, giving people information, um, broadening people's minds. I've always seen TED Talks as, you know, uh, as a uh, summer where people go and they showcase their talent but in an intellectual way i never thought i would see the day when ted talks has been um i don't even know what to say that has been watered down i don't know what the hell to to twerking <sighs> of all things as i could have talked about if she'd gone on TED Talks and she started talking about, oh, you know, my body, but because of my, my weight and all of this stuff, I've still been able to break barriers. And do, because she's a, she's a successful musician, I don't personally like her music, but she's a, she's a successful musician and I can't, I can't deny that. And I respect her craft in that sense. If she went and talked about the barriers she's had to chat, face being a black woman in the industry, whatever, I would understand that. But to use that that platform to talk about twerking i think is absolutely preposterous uh, uh, it's really bad it's it's so bad it's so bad it's already bad with the cardi b who once upon a time wasn't claiming that she's black and now she is doing wap megan the stallion doing her nonsense city girls and we then have now lizzo on ted talks talking about twerking really and then we then want to complain about the stereotypes that are portrayed in media about black women. Make it make sense. If we in the black community ourselves don't um, don't push back excellence in terms of academics, you know, in terms of um, intellectualism, if that's even a word, you know, in terms of innovation, then how do we then expect other communities? 
to then see that in us if we don't see that in ourselves we don't rate people when people want to talk about science technology all of that stuff not everyone is um is amplifying those um those profiles of people who are doing excellent stuff when it's to do with drama when it's to do with just when it's to do with dancing um music banter whatever that's the, the those people with those type of platforms those are the platforms that we elevate and you can't tell me that this was an accident ted talks knew what they were doing and you can't tell me that Lisa did a whole TED Talks and the organizers didn't know that she's going to be talking about twerking. I'm sure that had to be signed off. So I'm I'm super confused. And if she wants to talk about the origins of dance and how, you know, black people were the gatekeepers and all of that nonsense, get somebody who's a choreographer who's a specialist to come and talk about that stuff. It's really sad to see. It's very sad to see. And I was watching MTR's um, YouTube video earlier. Um, and he posted a clip of Shahrazad Ali and him talking. And it was talking about the over-sexualization of the younger generation. Seeing how younger kids, you know, dancing provocatively, shaking their hips and doing all of this stuff. And I've seen it as well. And when I see stuff like that, you don't really take it in you sort of laugh oh my god look at the way that she's dancing but it's true from a young age they're being bombarded with images of sex it's not normal it's really not normal let's leave kids to be kids like let's leave twerking in the club or in the bedroom like let's leave it there why do we have now have to bring twerk what this is another thing as well in the black community I realize as well. A lot of people like to debate and intellectualize um, topics that don't need to be intellectualized. Why are we now intellectualizing twerking? Why are we now trying to claim twerking? Yes, okay, black women know how to twerk, we know how to dance, whatever, we, we created that dance. And what? There's so many black inventors that I didn't even know created things. But we don't talk about that. We, we don't amplify those profiles. Instead, we want to complain. Oh, caught, you know, black people are never, and, and never um, credited for the choreography of this and that and that and that. And of course, you have to respect people's creativity. You know, I'm, I'm not disputing that. But I think so many times we complain about things that don't need to be complained about. Again, now with Love Island and Kaz. Kaz now looks like the villain and I don't feel sorry for her because A, she's moving mad from what I've been seeing on the time and in the little clips. And B, what do you surprise? She's a black woman in the show. Do you think that she's going to be treating Michael that way and there'll be no repercussions to it? You guys are mad. You guys are mad. And this is another thing as well in the community. When people do wrong, there's this whole thing of not calling people up on their BS. I don't know why we do that. We see that with men and, you know, in terms of relationships, the way they treat women and so forth, and other men not calling it out. But you also see it with women as well, when, where women also end up overestimating themselves. Um, Kim Sam was talk about, talks about knowing your sexual market value. I think Kaz got gassed. She came in there, there was not, there was, um, wasn't any guys checking for her then she didn't have Tyler now she has now she now has Matthew and it's sort of got to her head she's moving mad and it's like but you need to remember as a black woman when you're going on that show you need to your experience is not going to be the same as your counterparts see the way Faye shouted at Teddy and other people are complaining because if the role was reversed and Teddy who and if Teddy reacted like that they'll take him out of the thing of the villa the way they took Sharif out in the middle of the night but again we know we know these things we know these things happen on tv shows we know we're portrayed in a certain way on tv shows but we still go on the tv shows and we com complain that's my point we like to complain about things especially black women about things that we already know a woman will get with a man she knows the guy has a of another woman he's married then he breaks her heart or he leaves her and then she then wants to complain afterwards 
or this whole thing of, of struggle love as well when you see when you watch shows like put a ring on it and so forth our priorities aren't they're not i know i'm diverting a little bit but let me come back i'm saying as black women our priorities are not straight i don't <sighs> this laser thing has really like it's just really spun me it's it's super such spun me and i'm so upset i'm so upset I'm so upset that I invested my time to go to TED Talks two years ago. Something I'd really inspired to really go and experience. And then now I'm then now seeing Liz talking about twerking. She's not speaking about me and my culture, that's for sure. Definitely not. Definitely not. That's not something I would be proud as a black woman to hear another black woman talk about on a platform like that. Definitely not. And I think we really need to think twice about how we want to be perceived if you want to be perceived in a in a serious way then we have to start acting seriously we have to start talking about serious things and we have to start championing those serious things in the community and doing serious things for ourselves but yes guys i'm just gonna leave it here keep it short and sweet we black women we are responsible for our ethnic image and how we are portrayed and we need to take it seriously and we need to to start acting right and calling out fellow women who aren't acting right within the community. Just because you're, you don't act in a certain way doesn't necessarily mean that somebody won't prejudge you because of, what, of how they've seen it other black women act before. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to leave it here. Please like, share and subscribe. Take care, stay blessed and see you in the next video. Bye.